We've been sitting here for 30 fucking minutes. It's been 30 minutes already, man. 30 long fucking minutes. We didn't even get any damn water. Not even a damn menu yet. Where's the server at? I think I see somebody walking around here like hey, a couple so, of Hey, there you go. Server! Server! Yo, yeah. Yeah, right. These fucking work can fucking breathe my ass. Hey, does this smell like steak? Oh, oh shit. Man. Oh, hey, man, yo. Um, oh, welcome. repugnant shit. Welcome to the Slander Cafe. I hope you guys love oh. what we serve today. Don't worry about those. Hey, the crabs are fresh. Oh! Oh, fuck this. I'm getting on I, Yelp. I, I I'm reporting this shit on Yelp. I'll get you some free water. No camera on. Where that bottle, Bucky? Hey, did I see Flashpoint? I did see Flashpoint. Yeah, I saw it too. That shit was awesome. Let's talk about Flashpoint. Recently, we all sat together and we watched Justice League Flashpoint, the new animated film from DC, which features, of course, the Flash himself as he goes back in time and, and discovers in an alternate reality where everything goes completely wrong from the universe he's used to. My thoughts about it, I will get into more later. However, let's get to it. Oh, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Hey, y'all talking about some DC shit over here? I love this DC shit, man. Fuck that shit. I got to get in on this action. Oh, great, that's bored. Now, that fucking flash shit, it was the shit. Uh, all the shit and the total complete shit. Calm down. We usually have like points that we go over first before we just start saying fuck shit, fuck shit, fuck shit. Point one, fuck Aquaman. How about that? Yeah. He has a good point. He really did. Which leads me into the first big point. Aquaman had way too much seniority in that motherfucking movie. Not only did he have, was he the biggest fucking Brock Lesnar in an animated feature film, but he also fucking smashed Wonder Woman. And then Wonder Woman was beastly as shit and chopped off his head. So all this aside, his wife, his own fucking wife, all, all that, all that bullshit aside, Aquaman should not have that type of pimpism over any type of woman, let alone an Amazon. Let's jump, jump. Let's jump to Wonder Bitch, who hung a motherfucker by her rope. Let's that, 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 was, that was pretty boss. That was pretty, that was pretty beastly. She, well, I don't know if any of y'all saw the Wonder Woman animated. I didn't either, but I know some things about the Wonder Woman animated and. Uh, Wonder Woman is known to just cut both heads off. That's just I what mean, she do in cartoons. But they now. showed the head. like that. Was they like showed the head in that one. All I gotta say <laughs> is that was, a, that was the greatest animated Game of Thrones I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. 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 Now, the whole, the whole story, the way they did it, I had a couple of issues with it. Like, for once, they didn't have Kid Flash in there. I mean, Booster Gold, I'll let go because I had my issues with Booster Gold. It's Booster Gold. Gold. It's it's fun. Fun. He was. Yeah, he was in the comic But... Kid Flash was missing from this, and I think he would have brought more to the table. Now, jumping into the series, I mean, everything else was on point. Danny Wayne was boss. Yeah, like, Wayne, <laughs> when, when he first entered, like, they don't even, you know how, like, usually in shows, how, like, they let you know that there's a little bit of difference in a character, but, like, a little bit later after his introduction, the first thing you see is pistols out. Exactly. Oh, shit, exactly. Like, like, it was ridiculous. Let it not be Bruce, take notes. Let it not, <laughs> let it not be twisted. Harley Quinn with them yo-yos was doing dirt, but this is true. But how about the Barack Obama shout out? We yo, yo, wow. wait, stop, stop, stop! I have to say this. I have to say this. I have to give credit to DC for this, and that's rare. But they got the Barack Obama voice, tone, personality, even on par decision making to a T. Yeah, I have to give it to real, real talk. I do see. That if this was real, Barack Obama would one get a black superhero exactly. to be the one that's in, that's like lead the head, yeah, the lead superhero in America. And he was supposed to be the Superman of that alternate reality. Exactly. His, and personal, also, his personal drone. Exactly. And exactly. He <laughs> <laughs> gonna about suck that. on that NSA. <laughs> you know, of course, everybody had their favorites. You guys would say Batman. Um, Thomas Wayne did it, and of course, everybody was beast with even um fucking the fuck Batman. But the person who got me interested was my boy Grifter. Not only did Grifter bring the pain, but he went out like a cheat. He caught an arrow to the fuck, no, he caught three arrows. One to the back, one to the stomach, taking bitches out left and right. And the last bitch caught him in the head with an arrow, and he spit off dying and capped <laughs> 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 You! 
I hit pause on my pirated copy, <laughs> rewrite it in 10 steps, and watch that whole sequence 10 times. And it's not illegal because he didn't share it. <laughs> mm-hmm. We don't do that right here. My ass on the only thing I said, brain person, person is a fucking cold. Exactly. We, we don't ruin shit. Like I that. bought Flashpoint. Exactly. Okay, moving on. <laughs> How about we so, introduce the things that didn't make sense? Say it, come on. Things that don't make sense. First of all, when you do time travel, shit is always going to get bloody. Of course. So That's please, so please, help it make sense. It's an animated movie, for God's sakes. Time Force, uh, speed, sorry, Speed Force, not being able to be accessed by more than one speedster at a time, but yet you're able to travel back in time shit. and wow. then travel forward in time and catch yourself. I would but you if you need a tissue, but I don't need one. This crummy <laughs> establishment. All right, that's what I think about Time, the Speed Force in this movie. Hey, I must interject with this real quick. I understand that in the alternate reality, Superman was hidden. He, he landed in Metropolis first, as opposed to landing in Smallville. I get that, and as a, as a result, he was held by the government. But them making him look just like an anime version of Steve Buscemi. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shed literal Indian no, 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 tears. No, no, no. <laughs> and I don't even really care for bitch ass suit. No, 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 no. I don't care for bitch ass suit. I, I really don't. No, no, but no. I was really sad. I felt no, disheartened. No, no, no. Fuck that. Check this out. I when, felt, they, when they open that door. And I saw Superman. I could have swore he was about to t- turn around and say, I sucked the dick for some cheese. I swear. <laughs> he's going to say, I, I was sucked the dick. Get me out of here. Give me some sunshine. I baby. felt. I sucked the dick. Hold on, no. That was good. It looked, he looked, he looked, he looked like he was doing this. Like, he looked like he wanted to smoke kryptonite. And on top of that, <laughs> I felt. I was I was more disappointed than an Ace Hood fan watching that bezel fall off at the BET Awards on the red carpet. Ooh. That's how bad I felt for this guy. I was like, man, give him some sunlight, man. We don't need to breathe. And then when he got sunlight, he was as skinny as a toothpick, and then he disappears. I didn't even see. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. We gotta give DC a credit because Superman for once was not in the in the, in the spotlight of a DC animated movie. I gotta name my biggest problem with this movie, and um, and unfortunately, it's a big problem with a lot of the movies and what DC is doing. This was Flash's movie, where we. We never thought we would get this, and we're never gonna get another Flash movie again. It wasn't really about Flash. It, it, exactly, like Batman hijacked the movie. Okay, let me he explain. Hijacked, it wasn't even Bruce Wayne, and he hijacked the movie. Let me explain some things. Like, I mean, I did. How Jordan went off, went out like a side. Like, he went out like henchman <laughs> number three. He, really he went didn't. out like he was fucking henchman number did. three. He didn't. I mean, even he, he drove. Uh, he and literally the drove they, a plane into a monster. I'm actually Was that Obama's fault too? I'm actually shocked Nathan he Fillion was even job. went in and did voice work just so he could die that quick. Because he didn't matter. And Slade, fucking Slade. I mean, he went. He had to go out the hardest of them all. Oh, but he was so calm. If you had to die, so that is the way to do it. And then the scene when Aquaman is on his knees because his arm got shot off and he realized how much of a bitch he truly is. And he's like, wow. Well, not fighting in water like I should have. Anyway, anyway, bottom line, bottom line, overall, we all come to agreement. Justice Justice League Flashpoint Paradox was actually a really good film. We suggest you go check it out. Uh, I also recommend in the comment box if you're watching this, if you want us to have a movie that you want us to discuss or comment on, please listen in the comment box below here. We're more than happy to watch it and discuss it before you're liking the question. Well, that's great. We gave it a thumb and half a page up. I didn't put my pizza on. I didn't hit you. Wait, wonder what we did for a So, so um, shout out to Steve Trevor for uh, showing up and dying. <laughs> <laughs> and as your hour yes. entertainment, we yes. like to cut to Robin doing his thing. Clap for a nigga with his rapping ass. Nah, nah. Blow a stack for your niggas with your trapping ass. Nah, nah. Clap for a nigga with his rapping ass. Nah, nah. Blow a stack for your niggas with your trapping ass. <laughs> Time for. Time for.